Shabon Olivero, and she is an attorney at Olivero Law in Brandon, Florida. Um, amazing. She's got an amazing, um, she, she teaches a lot about um, trying to like understand as a, as an individual, how family law is to go. It occurs to me and uh, Shabon, you might have some, um, some input on this is it seems like in the courts, they're really, they're not there to diagnose. They really are not there to, to even analyze it on a deep level. They are there to, to make uh, rulings and by simplifying it and helping to like, turn it into something that's more quantitative, um, I would say that that would help a judge um, to guide them into doing the right thing instead of playing it safe. Like, let's keep that restraining order on this person mm -hmm. because it's safe. It, in their mind, we're, we're keeping the family safe, but they're actually, um, you know, I would say if you can speak to that about how the courts ne don't necessarily have the answer um, and by maybe doing this, it allows them to get towards the answer and know that they're not hurting a fam family in the process. Yeah, so I mean, so I'm in Florida, so just so everybody knows, I can only speak to what happens in, in Florida. Um, that's where I'm licensed, and I I, I will tell you that it, it's it's very very hard to make a case of parental alienation. I was actually just talking to a judge about this during during this past week, just um, kind of casually about some stuff, and and the judge in passing said, you know, parental alienation isn't even a even isn't even really a thing. So, you know, they, they are finding that, you know, for them that it, it's not even something that they're, they're really leaning towards or, or finding any validity too. So I think, yeah, definitely having something like this could help bring some awareness to it. And yeah, Danica, like you mentioned, so courts are, the courts here are actually about, always about reunification first. So I actually struggle and fight to, um, to suspend time sharing and, and keep children away from parents who you know are abusive and are having issues and are doing those things because I tend to find that the courts, for me that I've been that I've been dealing with, are all about you know, you know, trying to to reunify, to keep the parents you know and the children together and trying to build that relationship as much as they can. Um, but it's it's such a an abstract thing I think for the courts to to grasp and to see and. You know, like for instance, right now I have a case that's going to be going to hearing in the next week where the mother is trying to build a case of parental alienation against my client, yet she's the one that moved to a whole nother state and moved away and only has limited time sharing because she moved and now she's trying to claim parental alienation. So, and is, you know, brought doctors and experts on who's never met with my client, never seen the kid, never done anything who these experts are saying it's parental alienation. So there definitely needs to be more education brought in um, for the judges. And I say even for some expert practitioners who are coming in and testifying to these things, because how can you make that claim when you've never even met with, you know, the, the party that's, you know, this person is alleging has done that, so. So Danica, I have one uh, one question. It looks like it's from a parent. Uh, do you want me to mention names of the of the parents, or just ask the question? Just um, ask the question. Okay. So basically, it's uh, for Dr. Burnett. Um, how can the layman get a copy of this handout that you're referring to? My lawyer doesn't seem to want to take this information and put it in front of the judge. Send me an email. Um, or, yeah, I'll, I'll give you my email I wrote, real quick. It's my name. William dot Burnett B E R N E T at the U M C dot org. The U M C is Vanderbilt University Medical Center dot org. I'd, I'd be happy anybody who, uh, who wants a copy of this article. This this is the article that was published in Ireland, which is kind of neat. Uh, and sure. Incidentally. Judges are so different. I mean, some judges understand this, others don't, others don't like it. Uh, last year, I testified here in Tennessee, and the judge said, Dr. Burnett, please do not talk to me about parental alienation. The judge said, I know more about this than you do. He said, I've been a judge for 30 years. I've seen many more cases of parental alienation than you will ever see. So you don't need to preach to me about parental alienation. And he was right. He was an older man. He understood it completely. And uh, so I, I think there, there's obviously variation in different judges and in different communities. 